What's up guys, Bad Metal 11 again with another commentary. For those of you who are fans of Jurassic World Evolution 2, it has been confirmed that there will be a third installment that will likely coincide with the fourth Jurassic World movie. I know people are saying we don't need a third game because the second one is good as it is and they can just keep adding to the second game, but I'm not here to talk about that today. I'm here to talk about my DLC wishlist for the third game, along with some free updates that I came up with. Now, some of these DLCs uh, I think are important for the overall Jurassic lore or stuff that's just for fan service. Now, before getting into it, it's pretty much a given that the third game will have a Chaos Theory DLC, so there's no point in including it. So starting at number one on the list would be an Operation Genesis DLC. And as the title says, this would be a DLC for us uh, who grew up with JPOG. Everything about it would be updated graphically. In the paid content section, it would offer the buildings, fence designs, skins, and sound effects uh, we all remember as kids. In the free content section, it would offer the hot air balloon ride, paleo trees, cow feeders, the OG path, the water fountain, trash cans and benches, and a site B mode where we can let our dinos roam free and create custom islands. All this would allow uh, us to have more variety when making a park uh, set in the JP era. So the next DLC on my list would be an Indominus DNA pack. What this DLC would offer is the species that didn't make an in-game appearance, but they were used to make the Irex. The species would be Rugops, Pignonomosaurus, I believe it is, Quilmosaurus, and Viventator. And for you lore fanatics out there, I know Dinosuchus was also used, but stay until we get to the next DLC. The free content to go alongside this would be an Irex feeder and paddock uh, like in the first Jurassic World movie. With this, we can create a more Jurassic World movie park build and create a restricted section for the park. The third DLC on the list would be an aquatic species pack. For the paid content, uh, we would get Dinosuchus, Mesosaurus, Basilosaurus, and Leedsixus. Those of you that watched uh, Chased by Dinosaurs will know the last two. With Leedsixus, I can recreate this. In the free update, it would have a lagoon to land for Dinosuchus and Nothosaurus, instead of just a rock platform in the middle of the water. Next up, would be the Mizrani Species Pack. And the dinosaurs in this pack would be ones that are confirmed to have been cloned under Mizrani ownership. And these species would be Kyloris, Lacetosaurus, Peloriplites, and Teratophonius. This pack will complete the whole list of dinosaurs cloned under Mizrani. The free update to go alongside this would be a T-Rex Kingdom Paddock, a Raptor Paddock, a Mozo Lagoon, a River Cruise, Hologram Decorations, and the Jurassic World Evolution 1 Buildings and Islands. Next up would be a Titans Species Pack. The paid content would include Argentinosaurus, Brontosaurus, Pataga Titan, and Ribichosaurus. The free update would include a tree feeder, and a guest tower feeder. The next pack that would come to mind would be a late Cretaceous pack. The species would be Hadrosaurus Protocratops, if that's how you say it, Albilosaurus, and Gorgosaurus. And with the Hadrosaur being in this pack, this would actually complete InGen's list. And to finish this off, let's... Uh, add a Cenozoic Species Pack. Now this would split the community because there are people that want Cenozoic animals and some that don't, 
but I have one animal in mind uh, that I think uh, people would be more open to wanting to get this pack. So, the animals included would be Smilodon, Woolly Mammoth, Woolly Rhino, and Titanoboa. With Smilodon, it finishes everything in Camp Cretaceous. Tanaboa would be a good placeholder since the Meg is already in the game. But to officially finish this video off, I think some skin packs would be good for the game. The first skin pack would be a JP Novel pack of dinosaurs that are different from their movie counterparts. Next would be a Lost World Novel skin pack for all the dinosaurs that are different from their movie counterparts as well. Then a Jurassic Park The Game skin pack. This wouldn't be a huge one because the most notable ones would be the Troodon, Herrerasaurus, and Tylosaurus. And the last one would be a Trespasser skin pack. So we can get some of the T-Rex skins, the Albertosaurus, and the different raptor tribes, including the Super Raptor. And that concludes my wish list. If you have any ideas, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. And be sure to rate and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next commentary or playthrough. Peace out. Yeah, we ran out of patience For your love with the cold hard hatred